how long do Tesla batteries actually last? There's so much information out there. We're gonna break down the actual truth about how many miles you will get out of your Tesla purchase. And we're gonna go over a controversial new way to get more miles on your Tesla. Let's get into all of that and more in today's video. More and more car buyers are considering an EV. And one of the biggest questions is how much range am I going to get? yet if I were to choose a Tesla. To fully understand if your battery is going to last long enough, let's compare the average car on the road, which at this point hit a new record at 12.6 years old, data from May of 2024, the age of the average car here in America on the road. Did you know that the average amount of miles put on a vehicle in a year is just over 14,000? miles. So given the age of the average vehicle, that puts the miles of each average vehicle on the road just under 180,000 miles. So will a Tesla battery go that distance? Here's what you should expect. Tesla promises to cover your battery if you were to need a replacement up to eight years or for most Model 3 and Y vehicles up to 120,000 miles with a minimum promise of 70% of the battery's power remaining in the vehicle. If you're buying the S and the X or the Cybertruck, that promise of battery coverage goes up to 150,000 miles but the number we just spoke about, near 180,000 miles for the average vehicle, is a Tesla battery going to last long enough? Did you know that Tesla sells an extended warranty that you can purchase to cover certain items and repairs on your Tesla for an additional two years? But if you look at the fine print, that description does not include your battery coverage. So how much range should you expect after 100,000 miles or more of driving? Tesla says that their own vehicles, the S and the X, when driven over 200,000 miles on average only loses 12% of its range. So how much battery will your car have after hundreds of thousands of miles? Well, it does appear based on this study and many other examples from Tesla owners that at least as far as your battery life goes, the degradation of that battery's life and range is fairly minimal if it makes it past 200,000 miles. But what if the battery doesn't? By the way, the best Tesla accessories are linked down below for the 3 or the Y. They do include the new Highland Model 3, so check them out. Again, those links are down below. Did you know that automobile and EV websites recurrent asked this exact question? And the answer might be shocking. Of the cars listed and researched, which included Tesla and other EVs, the answer is going to depend on when you bought your car. A brief history of battery chemistry. Tesla's batteries are now larger, which means their capacities have increased, allowing for more range. Technologies have gotten better, and new methods of creating these batteries, like a new dry cathode process in the new 4680 batteries, are coming soon. This all allows for less cost of production and more range and also allows the driver to charge to a hundred percent. But if you have an older battery from 2016, there is a 13% chance that you're going to have to replace that entire battery according to Recurrent. Did you know that most of these repairs fall under that warranty coverage? And if you compare Tesla to EV makers like Hyundai, the coverage is relatively the same, with Hyundai giving 10 years, 100,000 miles of protection, 
or 10 years of coverage, whichever one comes first. Let's separate myth from truth. Did you know that if you buy a Tesla from 2016 or newer, Recurrent found that for EVs, a battery replacement happened less than 1% of the time. So we mentioned some of the benefits of new batteries like better charging and more energy capacity. Well, the technology is getting better too. So regardless of what you may see online, the fact is that your battery is more resilient than ever and needs to be replaced less than 1% of the time. Moving on from the lifespan and expectations of battery life, did you know that Tesla just came out with a acceleration boost, a battery locked feature that was a very controversial topic. Let's break it down. If you bought a Model Y rear wheel drive, that is the vehicle that's going to have the least amount of range as far as the Model Y goes for Tesla. Well, now you can purchase either 30 or 50 miles. And here is where the dispute comes in. That price is going to be $1,000 for 30 extra miles or $1,600 for 50 miles, but what is everyone angry about? Many believe that these miles should automatically be released for free in your Tesla, because if you have the range sitting beneath you in your Tesla, like I'm sitting in my Model 3 right now, well, why does Tesla have to charge their current customers for extra range and lock that range unless you do? Well, Tesla has done this in the past and they have provided provided some reasoning to this, but this new release of an acceleration boost or energy boost seems like a, at least at this time, a more optional feature. While it does give some options and flexibility to Model Y owners, in typical Tesla fashion, sometimes depending on the timing of when you bought your vehicle, you're left out of the options for extra range, but are given that option for more range and unlocking your battery's range, but at a cost. The reason for the difference of available miles depends on the battery's chemistry of the Model Y. But did you hear about this? Changes to the Model 3, the longest range Model 3 was just announced, which is now actually the cheapest Model 3, but gives you the most range. What are we talking about? This video is all about range and batteries. So we have to finish things off with Tesla's new long range rear wheel drive because of the EV tax credit and Tesla's estimated gas savings over five years. That puts this long range rear wheel drive Model 3 at less than $30,000. The retail price is $42,400. 50 and after the EV tax credit, it is under $35,000. Again, not factoring in that gas savings. So with this new long range, you're going to get 363 miles. In my opinion, this is one of the best offers as far as price versus range. So now you have a background on what you can expect as far as battery life, battery coverage. If you were to buy this long range rear wheel drive with 363 miles. So now you know a Tesla battery's life is expected well past 200,000 miles with very little range expected. You now know some of the warranty information and some news about the longest range Model 3. And finally, some updates on ways to purchase more range for the Model Y. Does a Tesla have enough range if you were to buy one? and drive it for over 12 years like the average car on the road right now well of course that really depends on your driving habits how many miles you drive in a month and at the end of the day that is really up to you but now you know all of the expectations from range and coverage through this video the only way I know that you're out there watching is to drop a like. It does help me know I'm doing a good job and I am trying to grow the channel. So I really appreciate it if you do subscribe to let me know that you're enjoying the channel, you like the consistency, or if you learned something in today's video. As always, this is Matt from Frunk to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.